Two top Taiwan diplomats were recently featured on international media outlets weighing in on the impact of the Russo-Ukrainian war on cross-strait affairs. In an interview with a Canadian news outlet, Foreign Minister Joseph Wu says that after Ukraine, China will think twice before launching an invasion on Taiwan. He says economic sanctions like those imposed on Moscow are a big deterrent for Beijing. Meanwhile, Taiwan's representative to Washington, Xiao Bi Kim, says Ukraine's determination and resilience against Russia has reinforced Taiwan's commitment to defend its freedom. Last month, Russia launched an unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Over the days that followed, more than 8,000 kilometers away, thousands of Taiwanese took to the streets in protest. A photograph of a rally on March 13th has made it on an international news outlet. It was an op-ed on the Washington Post written by Taiwan's representative to the U.S., Xiaobi Kim. In it, Xiao says distance has not prevented the Taiwanese people from standing in solidarity with Ukraine. Xiao says that although Taiwan and Ukraine have different historical and geopolitical situations, one common point stands out. Both Ukraine and Taiwan have been well aware of the dangers of living next to a hostile and authoritarian neighbor. Xiao adds that the similarities make many Taiwanese feel for what the Ukrainians are going through. The representative reiterated that no matter what Beijing says, it is an irrefutable reality that Taiwan has never been part of the People's Republic of China. She stressed that the future of Taiwan must be determined peacefully and democratically, adding that any invasion attempts from China would not break the solidarity and resilience of the Taiwanese people. If the Chinese government misjudges the situation and arbitrarily takes military action against Taiwan, it will certainly pay a heavy price. And it's not just Xiao drawing a connection between the two countries. During an interview with a Canadian media outlet, Foreign Minister Joseph Wu discussed the impact of the Russo-Ukrainian war on the Taiwan Strait. A headline from Canada's The Globe and Mail reads, Taiwan predicts China will think twice about military invasion after watching Ukraine. In the report, Taiwan's foreign minister says Taiwan has noted how Ukraine, as an underdog, has managed to prevent Russia's superior military from quickly taking over the country. Wu adds that the fighting spirit of Ukrainians and severe economic sanctions should give pause to Beijing's determination to use military force to gain control over Taiwan. The diplomat added that China's leadership has to consider that it could face similar sanctions if it deploys the PLA to Taiwan. He says such economic sanctions would be a strong deterrent for China from launching a military attack on Taiwan. Firstly, Taiwan wants to show the world that it has the determination and capabilities to defend itself and its sovereignty. Secondly, Taiwan hopes that, in addition to imposing sanctions on Russia, the international community will also stand in solidarity with Taiwan to counter China's ambitions for a forceful invasion of Taiwan. I believe that at this point in time, expressing these positions can help Taiwan obtain support from the international community. Taiwan's top diplomats have called on countries around the world not just to see Taiwan, but to form a democratic alliance to stand on Taiwan's side.